what's up guys welcome back again this is another android nougat related video and i wanted to show you guys some new stuff here today so these are the three android devices i have right now with me so these are running purest android as of now nexus 6 android 7.0 nougat this is pixel xl android 7.1 official and this is running the developer preview 7.1.1 the highest that you can get in the android world as of now so here is the oneplus 3 which is also running android nougat not official not oxygen OS. it is running cyanogen mod 14.1 which is called the 90 which is based on android nougat and this is not official because official from cyanogen mod but not official related to oneplus 3 because you are not going to get any google ads you have to install gfs that i will cover that later so i will be comparing here this thing here with the cyanogen mod and uh, with this all the android nougat devices not as of now in this video this is just a first impression for the cyanogen mod and we'll be talking about whether you should be installing that or not so kind of few bugs that i noticed that and i'm working on some of the videos like comparing with the official android nougat like how much difference is that in the cyanogen mod gives you compared to the stock android so that's actually better idea to get to know how much things got modified with time to time because nexus phone doesn't get modified at all and the phones that are running these kinds of stuff they usually modify that thing so going to starting from here you can see i uh, better i will give you guys a quick feedback how, how does it looks like when you restart your phone so download size of the cyanogen mod 14.1 is 70 to 600 mbs and uh, you're going to download the g apps too which should be near the size of 500 600 mbs so roughly cost to 1.3 gigabytes all right installation takes just a few minutes i will say not taking much and this is not compatible with all of the drive recovery so use 3.0.2-19 or 3.0.2-20 these two work and also you can easily root it that i have used super user beta 2.78 and 2.76 both are working so the one that i have used i'll put the name and the probably download links too you can get that so you can see this is the phone is booted and a lot of things you are seeing from starting here mm, kind of roaming warnings too you can see cm bug report app is closing so a lot of apps are getting close these day by day so i would recommend you personally to try it as a primary phone because uh, some things are still not working getting inside just to give you guys a demo i'm just trying to change the theme of my phone going inside here's a preference you can see google keyboard is not working so many apps are closing here uh, time to time so that you need to decide actually whether what is the most important for you so this is actually pixel launcher this is now it is rooted i have installed the pixel excel launcher just to give you guys and right feed how does it looks like going inside starting from the setting you can see you get a standard android nougat hamburger layout that is actually very nice along with that some new addition add-ons for example there's a new status bar that you can customize that a lot of battery icons you can change new styles percentage ampm you can display in the clock so many new tweaks are there that i will be actually noting the all these things here. i will make a detailed video maybe you can get a better there's new gestures so these things are already there in the oxygen OS too but kind of nice actually and booting time is fine apps are crashing but it's working is i mean there's no delay at all in terms of opening and all this is you will get kind of feedback and this is notification you will all get this six that you are there in the android official seven auto you can easily go to the edit you can add a lot of things here these things came from the nougat which is here in the pixel phones and the good thing guys i like about this, this is a camera actually they have tons of new features in the camera i still have to test that out how does it work and all but they have given a lot of features as you can see if i just twist it here you're going to get so many features just rotate it that way you see starting from the flash mode store location picture size face detection iso exposure white balance and touch focus duration red eye detection they have given to finally nokia phones have this feature along back so our exposure anti-banding denoise actually is the one plus three you know kind of a tumor that you can say dynamic denoise so use that on pretty low light situation when there is a lot of noise so pictures taken fine and there is a lot of noise too when you take pictures i'm not able to minimize the sound noise here but anyway looks great you can see kind of bug so <laughs> that you may occasionally get i don't know how if i just lock my phone again and lock it's gone and one more quick issue i will show you guys here i was just trying to add a fingerprint here 
go inside this security and battery wise still not great i am not getting a great battery backup even though i did stall that yesterday getting a security and trying to add a fingerprint setup here with the usual primary here add fingerprint here suppose i want to add this finger see it got minimized so usually it should not happen the solution that you need to press it for a long time then it comes to google now now it takes so if you just try to press gently it's not working otherwise well let me just give you a quick uh, look here with comparison to the pixel android how does it look like and this pretty fire is looking gorgeous right so this is how it's there but this is nougat you're going to get this phone support too and all the cool stuff that's here that's how it looks like you're going to get a peek of what android nougat looks like so stay tuned guys i'm just working a new video and yeah one more important point i'm not able to actually get this uh, system ui tuner to get work on and i don't know why it is not working just to give you guys an example this is how you enable system ui tuner i'm just pressing it here i'm not able to rotate it that it's not rotating so i even try to do a lot of stuff but i'm not able to get system ui tuner so it is officially based on 7.1 that's good thing not 7.0 Cyanogen mod 19.14.1 and API level 7 SC Linux enforcing so it's a lot of good stuff here actually and you go inside developer option you have this feature like uh, you can uh, give the root permissions to all the app by default or uh, you can see root access you can grant it there so it's pretty nice feature actually Android should have this feature but that comes a security concern so that's it guys pretty much it for this video and I'm just working on comparison with all the Android Nougat official that you can get and that is good actually you can come to know how much feature it is there and whether it's good for daily driver or not how much the kind of bugs are there that i have noticed here and battery performance uh, a lot of stuff here so stay tuned guys don't forget to subscribe to watch more things here and i hope you guys find this video helpful this is startup i'll catch you next video thanks for watching